The Bison return home for the first time in two weeks and are set to host the Youngstown State Penguins on Saturday. It's also homecoming week for NDSU. This is the 17th meeting between North Dakota State and Youngstown State dating back to 1972. The Bison have won 10 straight and own a 12-4 advantage in the series, including a 49-17 victory in Youngstown a year ago. Sophomore quarterback Demetric Crenshaw tied a school record with five touchdown passes in the Penguins' 49-16 win over Dayton on September 10th. He completed 11 of 17 passes for a career-best 230 yards. Senior tailback Jalil McLaughlin has rushed for 6,946 yards on 1,075 carries in 48 career NCAA games, scoring 69 touchdowns. In 20 games at Youngstown State, he has rushed for 2,198 yards and scored 21 touchdowns and has rushed for more than 100 yards in 13 of his last 18 contests. He is the leading rusher in the Valley, averaging 122.7 yards per game and 8.6 yards per carry. The Youngstown State defense ranks tied for 11th place in the FCS in fewest rushing yards allowed per game at 69.7 yards and has allowed only 209 total yards on the ground in just three games. YSU has also registered nine sacks in the last two games, five against Dayton and four at Kentucky. The defense has also logged 21 tackles for loss. The Bison rushed for 356 yards in last week's 34-17 victory on the road at South Dakota. 200 of those rushing yards and 24 unanswered points came in the second half. Fullback Hunter Lipke carried the ball 20 times for 146 yards and two scores. Running back Kobe Johnson had 14 carries for 68 yards. The Bison averaged 38.8 points per game and 385.5 yards on offense. Code Green's Dawson Weber forced two fumbles versus the Yotes. Linebackers Luke Wirtz and Logan Kopp both recorded their first career interceptions. NDSU's defense is holding opponents to 266.8 yards per game and 16.2 points. Kickoff versus Youngstown State is at 1 p.m. Central on Saturday. Champions play here.